What is up guys, Ace here. Today I've got a short little tutorial for you. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to morph shape layers into other shape layers. Uh, it's pretty simple, so I'm going to hop right into it and show you guys how I get this done. Okay, here we are on our new comp. I'm going to go ahead and hit Control Y to add a new solid. And it doesn't matter the name, just make it purple, sure. And then I'm going to add a shape layer. So let's go to Layer, New, Shape Layer. I'm going to show you one quick tip, and that is to hide your shape layer that's the background. Um, what you can do is go to this little button right here and shy it. So click that and then press the uh, lock button as well so you don't accidentally move it. And then click this um, activation here that will shy every layer that has this button clicked in. So shy that. And now we have our background and it can't be moved and it's fixed in place. Um, so next I'm going to go ahead and go to our shape layer and add a ellipse and I'm going to I'm gonna bring this ellipse into a group as well because I think it's a little more organized that way so I'm going to go ahead and drag my ellipse into there and I'm going to do the same thing with a rectangle I'm going to add a rectangle add a new group and then put the rectangle into that group and I'll do a poly star and new group and put the poly star in that new group and then I'm going to name those accordingly so this is our circle I believe yes so I'm going to name it circle then rectangle and I'm going to make it a triangle so I'm going to call it triangle okay okay next I'm going to do is add a fill to my circle so all you have to do is select um, that group and then go to add and add a fill I'm just going to make it white because I just like white then I'm going to go ahead and scale up our lips a little bit because it's kind of small. Just go ahead and go to like 400 pixels. And then I'm going to scale the rectangle the same. I'm going to go to rectangle and change the size to 400. Oops, not 40, 400. Okay. And then I'm going to go ahead and leave the triangle where it's at. Um, we are going to need to change the number of points to three to make an actual triangle. And now we are ready to go ahead and make our keyframe. So what we need to do is create path points in each one of these each one of these layers so that when we take one path point and bring it to another, it'll morph into the other shape. So I'll show you what I mean. Let's go to circle here and where it says ellipse path, right click and convert to Bezier path. And then now when you click this drop down arrow on path, you can create a keyframe. So let's do that for each one of these layers. So let's go to rectangle and rectangle path one, right click, convert to Bezier path, drop down arrow, keyframe, and then let's do the same thing with triangle. Um, polystar path, right click, Bezier path, drop down, there we go. So now, now let's tap U. So we have all our keyframes right here. And all we have to do from here is copy keyframes over to another path. So let's solo our circle. And to do that, I'm just going to turn off the visuals for the rectangle and triangle. Tap U again to get my keyframes. Then let's take the rectangle keyframe, hit Control C to copy, go to our circle path, and then hit Control V to paste. And you'll see that it morphs from a circle to a rectangle like that. And then you can do the same thing with the triangle path. So Control C, select the path you want to paste it on, Control V to paste. And then now we have a shape layer is morphing from a circle to a rectangle to a triangle. And keep in mind that this works with custom paths as well. You can draw things um, like a mask, for example. If you had a mask you, you've drawn out, copy a keyframe from that mask path and then paste it into um, like a shape layer path and it'll morph into that. So I can show you a quick example. Um, you just create a path and I'm gonna tap, yep, there we go. Got the pen tool selected and just say I wanted to, I don't know, create a custom shape like that right go to um, our path options here and keyframe the path copy that control c go to our circle and control v so it'll it also move to that position as well keep that in mind um, so if you want things to look like they're uniform you want to make sure they're drawn in the same spot so that's pretty much all I have for this tutorial. Pretty basic, but you can be really creative. You can create shapes like this and then put it into a repeater and make multiple shapes of that. Like I'll, I'll try to do that real quick. So I'm gonna go to my circle and then go ahead and go to add repeater. Just so you guys can see how much potential this sort of method has. So let's go to like transform the position, you know, um, scale it, you know, whatever. 
can do all sorts of things with with shape layers. That's why they're so so much fun to use. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that I have for this tutorial. Let me get rid of this repeater. <laughs> so uh, leave a like down below if you guys enjoyed, and subscribe if you really enjoyed. And I'll do more of these as per request. And I'll see you guys next time.